Let's start by saying that, yes, I am one of those folks that still actually uses an iPod Shuffle. There's reasons for that. First of all, I like the design. As an ultra runner, I like the weight. And I like the resilience of this device. I've broken a lot of other MP3 players, and so far, this has been the sturdiest device I've ever used. However, it's kind of antiquated in the fact that it doesn't have Bluetooth capability for wireless headsets. So today, I'm going to fix that. I picked up this little device, and it runs about $29. It's pretty cool. It is a Bluetooth transmitter and receiver that you can hook up to just about any device. It uses a 3.5 mail-to-mail connector and just charges for wireless connectivity. One button use, pretty simple. Here's the cable that comes with it. And this is going to be perfect for that iPod Shuffle. Here's the instruction booklets that come with the device, but I'll save you some time. It's only got one button. You just hold that button down until it turns on. Then you get it near the device you want it to pair with and hold down the button until the blue light starts flashing. Once the blue light turns solid, it's paired. As you can see here by the solid blue light on the device, it's currently paired with my Powerbeats Pros. Now, you're going to have to take my word for this because I'm not going to play any copyrighted music on YouTube and have them flag my video. So, hey, take my word for it, it's paired, and it works flawlessly. However, the trick to getting it paired with the Powerbeats Pros is you've got to put them in the little clamshell case, close the case, and then open it up, hold the button on the Powerbeats Pro until that little light starts flashing. At the same time you're holding the little blue light on the transmitter, they'll be flashing simultaneously, and then the transmitter will turn solid blue. I'm anticipating some of your comments already saying, Hey, this guy can afford a pair of Powerbeats Pros, but he's using a jank setup for his MP3 player. You must not watch enough of my videos. I didn't even remotely pay full price for those Powerbeat Pros. I hate carrying my phone for music for a lot of reasons. Number one, for damage. The other reason, look at the weight. 335 grams. That might not seem like a lot to you, but on an ultra marathon, every gram counts. Here you can see the little wireless setup is only 30 grams. That's a lot less. You know, about 300 grams less. And the size is perfect. Due to their almost identical size, these are going to be perfect because I can put a little square of Velcro on the back and then I'll be able to put them back to back. Just like as you see here. And then I'll be able to slip them in a pocket. Or even better yet, I can slip them into this old water resistant arm sleeve that I have and my weight is negligible. So there you have it. That's how this old man who refuses to use his phone for music turned his iPod Shuffle into a wireless device. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, you know I'd appreciate that thumbs up like. Feel free to follow us on Instagram and see what we're up to throughout the week between videos. And maybe, just maybe, I'll see you on the next video. If you enjoy videos about the randomness of our amazing world, consider clicking on the globe to subscribe, or maybe checking out one of the other videos right here.